how's it going everybody? For today's video, I'm going to be testing out um, these new hood spacers that I have to uh, clear my 4 inch intake. Um, you're about to see a clip right now of me installing it and showing you what they look like. I'll show you that right now. Just installed uh, hood spacers to clear the uh, 4 inch intake. And I'm not going to lie, you know, I thought I wouldn't like it, but I kind of do. It, uh, makes it look a little more aggressive and uh, it's still subtle. Um, if you buy the hood spacer kit from Limo Tooting or at Never Any Details uh, site, wait, real quick. Oops. Oh no, there goes one. You get four of these big ones right here. You get four of those, you get these plastic ones and then you get uh, five of these little guys. All right, so I used one big one and then two small ones. I don't know if you can see it. I used two small ones in the fronts on both sides and uh, looks pretty good. Clears the intake, definitely recommend it. All right, so now that you actually see the little washers and stuff that I'm using and what it looks like, here's how I'm gonna test it. So the theory is with hood spacers is that with the air coming over the top of the hood, it actually creates um, a vacuum effect right here. So I put these three pieces of strings, one you know in the middle as best I could, other ones on the outer edge, and I record it with my GoPro, and we'll see if air really does keep passing through. In theory, when you open the hood, it creates a gap in there for the hair, for the um, hot air to escape. We're gonna test to see if the air actually does, you know, go through or if it creates a vacuum leak. So I tape these on the bottom of the hood right here and we'll see if they stay straight or if they get sucked in. Temperature wise, if it does really work, I do have uprev and I will be recording uh, the intake uh, temp. I don't have any fancy uh, heat um, recording probe things we're going to call them. So I'll just be recording the intake temps and seeing if there's a difference. I'll be doing uh, one at idle and one at 50 miles an hour. Now after I do the one with the hood spacers, I'm gonna leave these strings on. I'll take the hood spacers off. It'll be back to stock and we'll see if with the hood spacers off, if there's still a vacuum effect or if air still gets um, sucked or push through and I'll record the intake temps for that. So let's get started. All right, so sitting at idle, I'm around 45 to 47 Celsius, which uh, 46 degrees Celsius is 114.8 degrees right there. So that's how hot it is inside the engine bay right now, idling with the hood spacers installed. Now, Let's go do a 50 mile an hour uh, drive and we'll see where the temperature is at then. So as you can see, lowest I got down to was 40. Hover around, I'm doing 55 right now. It's hover around 42 degrees Celsius inside the engine bay as of right now. And as you can see from the GoPro footage, the pieces of string have in fact been sucked inside of the engine bay. So that does confirm the vacuum leak or the vacuum effect it has with the air going back into the hood from the side of the roof. Yeah, see, look, it's down to 40 right now. And I'm only doing 40 miles an hour. 45. So at around, I've been averaging 40 to five, or 40 to 50 miles an hour and the intakes temp pretty much at a steady 41, 42 right now, as you can see from the screen. Lowest I got down to was 40. So now I'm pulling back into my neighborhood. I'll uninstall the hood spacers and we'll compare uh, the numbers. So the spacers have come off completely flush. 
I pulled the strings back out. As you can see, with the wheels, with the, not wheel spacers, hood spacers on, the air did get sucked back in um, as part of that, you know, vacuum thing. So now we're gonna test it out stock. All right, so here's with no hood spacers, have the GoPro connected to the springs, or springs, the strings. As you can see, the temp has gone up a lot just by idling. Low of 62, high so far of 64, and it, it keeps climbing. So now I'm gonna go down the same street, do a 45 to 50 mile an hour uh, cruise, cruising speed, and we'll see what the uh, temps come out to be. I'm at, I'm at 50 miles an hour now. Lowest I've gone so far is 48, high of 66 still, 47. It's just kind of staying at 46, 40, yep. I'm doing a little over 50 now. Here, see what happens when I do 60. Okay, I'm doing 60 right now. Still having around 45, 46. With the hood spacers, I had gotten down to 40. So you can say it does make a difference. Oh, down to 43 now. All right guys, so as you can see, um, in my opinion, and as you can see from the uh, temps that I showed you, uh, hood spacers do make a difference. And just to further proof, you saw the strings with the hood spacers on and off. They still got sucked down in there, so there is still vacuum effect, a vacuum effect happening uh, no matter what, hood spacers or without hood spacers. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces. God, it's suspense, the suspense. Almost there, ah! Shit, 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 shit. Oh, almost there, holy shit.